here again. We are back in, not 17, but we're in finally. It's finally here. We're in Farming Simulator 2019. So, I'm going to guys give you guys a rundown on what we got for equipment. Um, this is the American map, I believe. But we got our dog, so whatever you guys want to come up with a name, come up with a name for our dog here. And you guys can be the one, whoever top comment for that one will uh, be the dog. So we're going to feed our dog. So you're going to come over and eat. Yep. And then we'll make him follow us around, I think. You can do that. I don't know. Pet, feed. No. R. Hey. Sit. No. There you go. I don't think he can follow us, but whatever. Alright, so let's run over here to our... I'm going to call this kind of like a lean-to shed. That's what I'd call it, because it's it's got a lean on it, you know, and it doesn't have sides. So we got our coon rake here. We got the new Holland uh, disc bind. So we got the UM seed tender here, and we got a uh, tedder, the good old, I think this is a coon. And then we got the new Holland baler there. And now let's run over to our other shed. We got some wheat we can harvest today. There's a grain bin. There's your nice American flag for you guys, American planes out there. So there's already lots of work. You guys can see we have $5,000. I took out a loan. I got all this good equipment because, you know, I'm a John Deere guy. But we got one case, 115 Magnum for you guys. Or, yeah. And then we got a John Deere T560i. We got those dump trailers there. We got a Kenzie 8. Is that a 7 or a f 1? 851. Oh, we got a kind of like a VT kind of a disc, heavy disc thing here. And we got, what would you call this? We got a cedar, sorry. Oh, we got a John Deere 8 rail corn head. And this is a 25 foot grain table here. So, we're going to take the MX over here. And we're going to go try spraying some of this wheat first. That way we can get a better yield on it. I already got this thing pretty well full, but it's not 100%. It's kind of nice when you drive with weeds and everything. Like, yeah. You guys, this should be going up on Saturday. I'm recording it early Saturday morning. Hopefully it comes up by tonight, but if not, I do apologize. But we may do a live stream either tonight or it will be tomorrow. Whatever you guys want, leave a comment down there yet tonight. And let me know when you guys want it. Hopefully it'll be up for 8 o'clock, but we'll see. Live stream could go on 9, 10 o'clock, whatever you guys want, and we'll go from there. Let's turn this bad boy on, I think. I think it's fertilizer. We gotta get this up, because it'll just uh, wreck the plants. Must not be driving too straight, or else we would, wouldn't be taking out all that. It's alright. We really don't have to turn it off because all we gotta do is go back down it. Maybe a little bit in the middle. It'd be okay. We'll check on our mini map here and make sure it's all good, but I'm quite sure we got it all. If we fertilize it. But, yeah, this game, I, I'm starting to really get on this game. Like, I got this game the other night. I finally got it installed and everything, so it's kind of nice, and I'm playing it kind of straight. Alright, so there's automatic save here. It's automatic save, and you guys can set that for... I think you can set it every 15 minutes or something. You can do that. So, um, yeah, where is it? Right here. So you can set your auto save into 15, 10, 5, and off. I like to keep it on 15 just in case the internet crashes or something. So, we're going to turn our plants on normal, and we'll keep rolling. Let's hold this bubby up. Yeah, let's back this. Where are we going to park this thing? Back right there in front of that corn head. That way we can get the grain cart out. I like using I thought I was going to buy a different grain cart, but the Kenzie fitted more to my standards, you know? So, we got to move the 61... 6230R. We're going to move that out of the way. Probably end up throwing it on the grain cart or something. So, we'll drop those... We'll drop these uh, pallet forks over here on the uh, 
Not the whole thing, but let's just drop. I'm bad at this when you unhook. We're on the right one, I think. Yeah, there. I'm bad at that because it's all up at the top there. You guys can see the tracker up on the left hand side. So. Let's back her up. Let's hook on the green card, honestly. Let's hook on the green card of this tractor. Throw the 6M on the uh, good old uh, dump wagons, you want to call them. We'll call them that. We'll probably only get to need the green card, honestly. Because I can't see it yielding the greatest, but we'll find out. So we'll just park this thing. Probably stick it right about here. Just jump over here. As we don't run into the shed. Um, I guess we can pull the header out with the 6M first. And then we can... Uh, I like how it shows you your actual number on your tractor, not how it was in like 17, how it would, you know, say like 7 or 8 R, you know, series. That's a nice thing they got going on. So let's bring the combine out, pick that up. Let's open this thing up while we're waiting. First time ever using this combine. I messed around, I probably only have like, I probably have a good 10 to 12 hours in this game just to get used to the game before I made a video and made a kind of like a fool out of myself but that's kind of cool how they have the actual good old uh, John Deere screen there right there that's like in the combines that's kind of nice why would I come up what's going on we're opened up here should pick right up what's going on Is there a difference when I have to pull it? This is weird, can't even get it off the trailer. Hmm. Let's pull it out here in the open a little more. And we'll unhook it actually and we'll see if it makes a difference. Because this is a little strange, guys. Something new to me. I haven't tucked too many heads off or any of that stuff lately, so I couldn't tell you. No. I don't know what's going on. What's going on? Try bumping it? We could try resetting that header trailer, but then I'd have to go to the shop later and get it. But I really don't want to do that, but... Oh, we just had it. The resetting thing is a lot different, and I'd say it's a lot more easier, in a sense. Maybe? No. Hey, I don't want the head. Let's try this again. There we go. There we go. I don't know what was that about, but works fine here. Alright, let's open this thing back up. Let's go pick some wheat. The grain bin's okay, it wouldn't hold the best, but I didn't want to start off with a little new home. I like the deer, so I wanted to I want to experiment with the deers. But let's listen. Hopefully you guys can hear all the sound and everything's all perfect. You guys can hear that? That's kind of cool. I was kinda of happy when I heard all that. So we're gonna windrow this stuff so we can uh make some uh some draw bills here, because we might get cows or something going on down the road. But worst comes to worst, we can just sell it to the neighbor around here. Sell it too. I don't know. I'm not sure where the sell point is honestly on this map, but there should be a sell point around here somewhere for the animals and all that sort of stuff. Let's pick this thing up. Bag her up. video is only going to be about 30 minutes, unfortunately, because I'm running short on time. Really, we can go back down over here. We might dump it right into the grain cart, and then we could... We'll see if we can dump it into the actual grain system, like I used to do it in 17 once in a while, if I had just a little bit of the combine, but I want to use the grain cart, honestly, because I, I want to use it, because I've never used that style of Mackenzie grain cart. I think they had something like that in... 17, honestly. I think they had that, but it's alright. 
it's just it's kind of nice that they got a lot of new. That's a nice feature I like about the new games. Like, there's new equipment always. There's different graphics are different. Yeah, I got an early access, early access code, so that's why I have it and you guys don't. But I think you guys should be able to get it on November the 19th or 20th or something. You guys should have it or be able to get it. So that's like Monday or Tuesday, I believe. So, we'll have to see. Pick her up. Let's back it up a little. That way we don't have to winter it. Keep our windrows nice and clean. Because if we were just turning and turning everything, it would be it'll look like slop, and then we would ha wouldn't be able to bail it up clean. Like I like to keep everything nice and tidy, cleaned up, you know. So we'll get this done. We'll bail it up, and then we will uh, probably end up. Uh, what else could we do? I guess we bail it, then we could start plowing, really. We're not going to sell any green, quite yet. Oh, we turned her off that time. That looks about 25 feet. You guys think so? I'm going to show you right now. All right, I'm gonna show you this, guys, right now, because I found this out yesterday. Where is it? All right, so you go into the monitor one when you guys get it, and you go to steering back speed. Turn the. This will be at about 50 or so when you guys get it. If you guys want it to be normal, like it was in 17, and you don't, and you're using a keyboard and everything, like what I'm using right now, because I don't have my steering wheel hooked up. But if you guys want to use the keyboard, turn this up to 100, and it'll speed up your steering and everything. Just a heads up for those people, like. Oh man, the steering's all messed up. And that's one thing you hate about the game, but there you go. There's a way to change that. It took me a while to figure it out, but I finally found it the other night when I was messing with all these settings and seeing what they all did. Because otherwise, it, it it's more realistic with the steering wheel and everything. Yeah, I'd use so use it, turn it down to like 50 or something when it comes. With the steering wheel or something, because it's a lot better, but... There's no... I kind of, I'm kind of glad that there is an option, but I would have been a little bit upset if there wasn't. But it's all right. Ooh, man. What the heck, the light flashes on the end when we break. That's kind of cool. Kind of weird. I think they got the light over too far. Maybe that's. I guess maybe it's over. Yeah. Let's watch it unload. There ain't too much in there, so we really can't. But... There you go. I don't know. Well, we're not going to put the header trailer back together right now. We'll just park the combine over here for right now. Out of the way. Turn the lights off. Let's get 6R. 62. this pipe out. Oh, there comes the chute. Opens up. That way you can see how full it is. I was going to do a video on real life on the grain cart or in the grain cart, but it just got a little hectic and I was always plowing, so I never got there. There we go. Is that all we got? Looks like it. Oh, let's pull her out of there. We're putting her to the test. Start this thing. I don't think we need to put it away. I think we do need to put it away. We got the thing tarp. Let's go run it back in the shed. We'll have lots more to harvest here soon. It's just, we're starting off. That's what the field you get to harvest. So. Isn't too much since we bought a bigger comb. Like, it didn't take that long either. Perfect. I link it over just a little that way when I bring the disc out, because that's what I'll bring out next. I don't scrape it. 
That looks better. Pluck the plow up. Get hooking on this one. Bring it out when we come. That way we don't have to come back over here. Let's pick these bale spears up. Or bale spikes, whatever you guys like to call them. Or no, those aren't bale spears. They're uh, health works. Shucks, I don't even have the right ones here. They will work. Disattach the uh, this herald there. Let's run over and grab the 6M, hook around the baler. Go bail that up quick. And we'll get those bales off the field out of the way and let's plow it up. It's kind of nice also, you got to spray for the weeds. So maybe we'll leave one field one of these times. That way you, we can see what it looks like when the weeds all come up. It's pretty cool, but hey. It's all right. We'll get there eventually. One of these days we'll get in a bind and that'll happen. There's a bale over there. I forgot where I put it. Even though I just set all this stuff up an hour ago. Oop, hit the a little. Should be opened up, ready to go. Join this thing over. The first time I ever used this round baler in FS19. So. Ooh, just got a little speed. This thing goes 26. What's our RPM sticking out? It's not like that. I believe the PTO shafts and all of them. Yeah. All the PTO shafts, uh. Ooh, that's a nice feature. You can kind of see it shaking the tractor. We'll kind of go slow. We can bail this really fast if we wanted to. We got a little bit of a bigger tractor than. No work size tractor on the baler, but it's okay. Oh, it beeps when it's full. Oh, okay. I couldn't figure what was going on. Because usually in about 17, I'm used to, when you hit 80%, it would beep at you. But here, as soon as it's full, it beeps. That's nice. Huh? Let's back that up and get that cleaned up a little bit more. This farm next here is a little fussy. It does beep still. Back it up. Let's go ahead. Back it up. Can we bail? 12 mile an hour. Holy smokes, we can really pound bail, sir. Starting to get dirty. That's a nice feature, but that's what the pressure washer's for. That's what they make it for. Or we could just see it. But I believe, I'm not quite sure. You guys would have to correct me if I'm wrong, but I guess you guys really can't either. But when it rains, I hope the rain, like, washes your tractors off. Oh, that'd be really easy for you. Because I feel like no one would wash their tractors. Oh, that's the wrong button. But, yeah, I can see a lot of people. I'm not saying no names, but I think we all know who who's pretty good at that one. I don't think we should say any names. Let me know if you guys think it's who I'm thinking. Alright, let's... You guys see it rattling back there? Oh. Come on, Bale. Out of the way. Cut, two, three, four. Let's just close it. Maybe. So? No. We're pushing it. Surprised we weren't pushing the straw with it. We're almost at the end here. Whoa! Hey! Guess we gotta go get the track over there. I hate when you accidentally hit it. It does it. It's kind of getting a pain in the butt. All right, let's get the 6230R to the rescue. 
Big dip there, didn't see. Now we're gonna do this one. Maybe. Out she come. Sort of got it out. Bet you probably another good bump and we'll have him gone. Or we'll just do that. Where do we want to stack these bad boys up? I think we'll just line them up over here because I know I'm not going to keep them for right now. Where's a good nice spot? I think right about here. They might get in the way, but someone should soon come get them. Or I'll tell someone to come and get them. Or else I'll just take them to a delivery for a farmer for free if no one wants them, but I can't see nothing at all. It's a pretty good, decent straw. Oh, back her up. Oh, crank her around. Crank her around. There we go. Pick these bales up. Go get some more. Oh, where'd they come from? Did you guys see those birds? I did. That was weird. Just another couple of bales. Grab it. maybe one more bale, and then I think I better get it. Have some lunch. You know, I gotta go on lunch break, you know. Oh, there we go. So let me know if you guys want to stream tonight or not. We'll see how things go. Um, we'll see how if I can get there or not. We'll probably not end up doing one for... A little bit, unless you really want to, but there's probably one on my channel going on, so just come check my channel out. Link will be in the description as always. So if you guys enjoyed this video, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Don't forget to go check out my channel if you want to see some more Farming Simulator 19, and just look up some Farming Simulator 19. There's lots. Of, I think there's a few people got it right now, so we'll have to see. And uh, yeah, guys, I'll talk to you later. Thanks.